Put your hands together. Welcome, Bill Nye. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. My name is Bill. As Matt explained, my name is Bill. It's in television. I really can't hear you. It's like it just reminds me of a singles bar. <laughs> when you go in and say, <laughs> "Hi, my name is Bill. I work in an office. Yeah, I have a job, and uh, I drive a car." Do you want to go home with me? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Bill. Bill Nye never was a true scientist. He wasn't in the field of climate. He wasn't in the field of biology. And I know that sounds a lot like the appeal to a higher authority, which is a logical fallacy, but hear me out. Yes, you can have in-depth knowledge on a subject without being a designated expert in the field. A football fanatic can have enough knowledge about football that's operational without having been a coach or a player in the NFL. A science enthusiast can have a lot of knowledge about biology without being accredited and published biologist. That is, of course, if they have a trustworthy opinion and they have showcased an in-depth knowledge on the subject previously. Now, like late night talk show hosts or CNN anchors, I realize it's not their information that makes them credible. It's not the facts that they purport to present to you. It's their position. It's their perceived position of authority on these subjects by being on TV. Bill Nye is not a scientist and never was in the sense that you thought he was. Please consider the following. Now I got a bachelor's degree of science and worked at Boeing as an engineer and developed a hydraulic resonance suppressor tube which was used on 747 Boeing jets. Pretty smart guy, right? But that wasn't the world Bill Nye wanted to stay in. He wanted to get into comedy after he won a Steve Martin lookalike contest. So from 1986 to 1991, he worked on a sketch comedy show, but he was only sort of doing it as a freelance role. He wasn't getting paid regularly. So he took the opportunity that was given to him to host an educational program on Washington State's wetlands. And pretty much from that moment on, Bill Nye the science guy was born. Hi, do you ever find yourself so bored that watching television or traffic seems interesting? Well, look, lose the attitude, okay? Check this out. Yeah, that's it. Now him taking these jobs or doing these shows is, is not something I have a problem with. Get paid, man. Present factual information to children in an educational manner and make it fun and all power to you. I loved them when I was a kid. It's not his being a science enthusiast that bothers me either. It, it isn't that. It's his use of his TV character as a method to push one-sided propaganda. And I know propaganda is a heavy word, but that's what it is in this case. And I have a problem with that, this perceived notion that he is an authority on these subjects. Bill Nye is actually a script reader, and he's great at it. Much better than me. Right, right, right. He's not a climate scientist, he's not a biologist, but because of his connection he has with people and the fact that he's presented as an authority on these subjects, that's a, an, underlying, an underlying theme you have when you bring somebody on to talk about these subjects. You assume that the person on television that's telling you all about this is an expert in this field, but he's not. So he's presented as such, and people think that he does have an authority on these subjects that he talks about, like biology and climate change. But when have you ever heard him say that he's not a climate scientist or he's not a biologist? Never! Now, if you don't believe me about Bill Nye or even supposed experts in general who are put in positions of power to look like they have authority on these subjects, then just take a look at Bill Nye in the 90s versus just a few years ago in Netflix when talking about gender. I'm a girl. Could have just as easily been a boy, though, because the probability of becoming a girl is always one in two. See, inside each of our cells are these things called chromosomes, and they control whether we become a boy or a girl. Your mom has two X chromosomes in all of her cells, and your dad has one X and one Y chromosome in each of his cells. Before you're born, your mom gives you one of her chromosomes and your dad gives you one of his. Mom always gives you an X. And if dad gives you an X too, then you become a girl. But if he gives you his Y, then you become a boy. See, there are only two possibilities. X, girl, or X, Y, a boy. The chance of becoming either a boy or a girl is always one in two. A 50-50 chance either way. Sex. 
We used to think it was pretty straightforward. X and a Y chromosome for males, two X's for females. But we see more combinations than that in real life. And even for people with just two sex chromosomes, hormones can vary wildly. So can anatomy. What makes someone male or female isn't so clear cut. Are you starting to see what I mean? Are you starting to see how his subject matter is basically dependent on who's writing his paychecks? Now, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a historian. If you don't believe anything that I said or presented to you, go ahead and go and research for yourself. See how easy that was, Bill? It's not that hard. Did you know that? Bill and I once suggested that perhaps climate change skeptics should be put in jail for not believing some things. Could you imagine not believing Al Gore or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? What is your thought on that? Do you think some of the rhetoric on your side, as I'm sure both sides, but some of the rhetoric on your side gets too carried away? I mean, you don't, what's your thought on jailing skeptics as war criminals? Uh, well, if the, we'll see what happens. Uh, was it appropriate to jail the guys from Enron? Interesting. Uh, okay, right, so we'll see what happens. If, was it appropriate to jail people from the cigarette industry who insisted, who insisted that this addictive product was not addictive and so on? And you think about, in these cases, for me as a taxpayer and voter, uh, the doubting, the introduction of this extreme doubt, will you go with extreme doubt, about climate change is affecting my quality of life as a public citizen. So I can see where people are very concerned about this and are pursuing criminal investigations as well as, uh, as, well as engaging in discussions like this. Now, Bill Nye goes ahead and has a guest spot on John Oliver. Stay with me here, I know it's John Oliver. Of course he goes on to say that the world is ending, you guys, so do something about it, jeez. Here, I, I've got an experiment for you, safety glasses on. By the end of this century, if emissions keep rising, the average temperature on Earth could go up another four to eight degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on f***ing fire. There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the f*** up. You're not children anymore. I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? Safety glasses off, mother He's so edgy, you guys. You know, he just is. He's just right. That's all there is to it. He's just a concerned citizen and science and climate change expert who just happens to be on John Oliver, who isn't biased at all, remind you, this is a comedy show, remember, and he's talking about something that he's definitely not paid to talk about. He's just concerned with your well-being. Yes, people do actually think this way. It's very troubling and it's very prevalent, much more than you think when you start digging into people's ideas and asking them questions like I've been doing. Now take this for example. I actually came across this by accident while trying to find other Bill Nye videos. This is the reaction of Bill Nye on John Oliver from a Toronto radio host on one of the biggest stations. Safety glasses on. So Bill Nye the science guy was on John Oliver's show and he went off. Yes Bill, bring it baby! However, I will say Bill, the people that grew up on you were well aware that a climate disaster is uh already here okay you need to make a video for our parents it's our parents who are not getting the message the baby boomers the people still in charge make a special baby boomer video will ya this guy's 41 and he speaks like a child our parents are in charge they're the ones who are in charge they're the ones you have to convince you guys what can i do i'm just a 40 year old man with a super large platform on one of the biggest radio stations in the country it's your parents you have to worry about these darn adults, they're getting in the way. <laughs> it's called virtue signaling, and I get it. He's on a super commercial poppy radio station. He has to go with the status quo. But to act like a child and say, it's your parents, like, again, you're 41. You don't have to know anything in depth or understand the topic or the politics surrounding it at all because no one would ever present you with biased information. They wouldn't do that. The, John Oliver wouldn't do that, you guys. So if I say it's wrong, Everyone will applaud me and accept me as their friend. I'll be one of them. One of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. This is, of course, an ever-growing problem. Somehow it became the cool thing to do to just copy everyone else's opinion and share the same beliefs with everyone without even questioning. And this isn't even just among kids. This is adults, like the ones I just showed you, 40-year-olds think that their children and their parents are still the ones to blame. Want to be edgy, you guys? Swear for no reason at all. Call old people stupid and evil. Call rich people evil. 
Say, F Trump. So edgy, so mysterious. Honestly, if you think people like Bernie Sanders, AOC, Beto O'Rourke, and Bill Nye are the go-to people for moral authority and opinion on complex issues that they clearly don't understand, then congratulations. You're the intellectual equivalent of a 14-year-old who thinks the world revolves around them, believes everything that they read as long as it has a smiling face on it, and thinks that words on the internet are violence. It says Il Nye. Not Bill. That almost tripped me up. It's like a Beastie Boys album. Il Nye the Science Guy. <laughs>